thought we were very good offensively. Uh, they did a very good job of mixing up their zones. I mean, every time there was a dead ball, they were changing their zone. And uh, we, we organized, we recognized, and, and we attacked. We were pretty good sharing the basketball, 24 assists on 34 baskets. And you know, they're, they're a very talented offensive team. And he does a nice job, TJ does, of getting his best players great looks. And um, tonight, I thought we did a pretty good job on Dom. He ends up with 20 points, a little bit under his average. But I thought Brown especially was very good against him. Yeah, the charge that he took early. It was a big play. Like, was that scouting? He seemed to know exactly what was Yeah, well, you know, he, he loves to get the ball in that left short corner area. And he's really good. And at that point, he would rather, we thought from the scouting, uh, Coach Kyle Linstead and Chris Jans and I, we thought he was better. Uh, driving it than shooting the 10 to 12 foot sh shot in the short corner. And he predominantly drives right, and, and, and Brown did a great job of beating him to the spot and, and got that charge, which was big because it gave him a second foul. And uh, he had to spend some time, a little, probably more time than they wanted on the bench in the first half. Shannon and Frank Camp have been inconsistent. That's terrible. very kind, Bob. Yeah, well, You're in the giving season, it's a giving season. I hope so. I hope so. Both of them were shooting 31% from three. So, uh, you know, Landry goes six for 10. That's going to jump his average way up. Uh, he's, he's a good shooter. Uh, he's been a good shooter in practice for a couple of years now. He just hadn't made him in games. And we were three for 17 last Saturday. It really didn't help us at all. Uh, and then Connor was very aggressive tonight. He, I think he took a step in the positive. He, was, he got to the rim a couple of times. Uh, he was getting into gaps, and, and he gets nine uh, shot attempts off in his 23 minutes. So uh, he had four assists, zero turnovers. And Landry had uh, two, three and two, but he, he just he made a couple of silly plays. I thought Brown was six for two, six assists, two turnovers. I thought he was pretty good sharing the ball tonight. Were you able to, felt like you shot over the zone, and that got it spread out some, and then you were able well, yeah, we were trying to mix it up. I mean, uh, we were running our ball screen offense uh, when it was 3-2 or 2-3, and then we were gapping the 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, I just thought we were getting the ball inside, and then that would open up all kind of outside shots, play inside out against the zone if you can. But I mean, they were at times, they were really packing their zone in and going underneath ball screens and whatnot. So a few times, we just stopped and popped. Yeah, we've seen a lot of zone this year, and we've we've played against a lot of zone because we practice our zone. So, um, you know, I don't I don't mind people playing zone against us. I mean, I I don't care what defense Louisville's going to throw at you; they're going to defend you really well. I mean, ask Kentucky. So, you know, you, you they could have played man to man and, and held us in the fifties too. So, um, and I just thought we were bad last Saturday in every regard, and part of that was attacking Oklahoma State's zone after they had extended so much pressure, they got the lead, and they just fell back in a zone, and we weren't very good. Does a game like this help get some of that bad taste out of your mouth on well, Saturday? A little bit, Bob. A little bit. I'll never forget it. I mean, it's certainly something that, as coaches, we've got to learn and, and uh, try to try to toughen our guys up uh, we, you know, and get them in better shape and all of that. This was, this was, was not a fun week, preparation for this game. and. Uh, at least we, we're going into the holidays now on a positive 10 and 3. It's obviously not uh, ideal, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good for uh, this group. And, and we've got a chance now to, to go into the conference play on the 29th at Indiana State and get a nice road win. I mean, they're a very good team, and we understand that. Hopefully, the guys will come back ready to go and get some workouts in over the holidays and be in good shape uh, mentally and physically when they come back.